Welcome to our kitchen once again, my friends. It's really nice and molly. Today we're gonna be making some shrimp curry. And uh, we're gonna be cooking some what is known as coarse shrimp in Guyana. The largest shrimp there. For this we're gonna be using some curry powder, roasted ground jira, garam masala, onions, pepper, scallions, garlic, tomato, salt to taste of course. And as I said, we have the smaller shrimp, which is the white belly shrimp, tiny shrimp. Delicious as well. But this here is a larger shrimp, which is known as coarse shrimp. And uh, we're going to be making a curry out of this here today. So here is our shrimp. Nice large shrimp here. So Molly is going to show you guys here. This is already deveined. See that? It's already slipped. Each and every one has been deveined already. So she's just going to remove the shell. So Molly is now washing this with some lemon juice. So we're gonna chop the seasonings here now for our shrimp curry. So we put our oil to heat here. So Molly is going to make the paste for our curry here now. And in there she has the curry powder, roasted ground jira and the garam masala. And now adding the ground garlic and pepper. That's just water. So that's how you make your paste for your curries. Easy. So our oil is hot here. So we're gonna saute this a bit, fry this a bit. Then goes our curry paste. So 
So during the time your curry paste is cooking, you want to keep an eye on it because, because there's not a lot of liquid in there. It'll be easy to burn, catch to your pan. Okay guys, so our curry paste is going to cook for about 4 to 5 minutes here. And the reason why this is different, we are cooking this for a bit longer is because we are cooking shrimp. And shrimp does not take long to cook, so the curry paste will not be further cooked for, for any longer time. So in that case, you need to cook your curry paste in the beginning for a little bit longer than the usual 2 minutes. So about 4 to 5 minutes would be okay in this case with the shrimp since the shrimp is going to be done in no time Okay guys, so time is up. Now time to add our shrimp here. Salt to taste. So now we're just going to leave this to bungee and then we'll be back. In the meantime we are heating some water here to add to it after it's bungee. Okay guys, so we're going to give this a turn here. So while bungeeing you want to turn because there's no water in there. And bungeeing is basically adding your ingredients and cooking it let it uh, release its own juices and then evaporate again, dries down again. So that's what bunje is. That's where you add the most flavor to your to your ingredient, to your shrimp or whatever you're cooking. By bungeeing it, let it release its juices and dry down its juices. So our water is boiling there, ready for our shrimp. Okay guys, so the shrimp is right long enough here and we're gonna add our water here now. Now you gotta be careful you don't overcook these large shrimp because you'll notice the rubberiness of this. Unlike the smaller shrimp, you can cook them for you can get away with cooking it for a bit longer. So we're now gonna cover this and let it do its thing. Okay guys, so it's been about 5 minutes for a shrimp and it's done. So that's our whole shrimp curry there. Looking good, isn't it? You have it with some rice or roti, whichever you like. But oh, these are looking so good. So here's our finished 
shrimp coarse shrimp curry here guys if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do and remember the recipe with the list of ingredients and measurements will be up on our website realizeguyana.com please share this video and as always thanks for watching take care bye